Greetings to our friends and partners across America and around the world. The topic today is the choice between happiness and joy. King David writes in Psalm 1611, you will show me the paths of life and in your presence is the fullness of joy. Think about that phrase, the fullness of joy. Very few people know the difference between joy and happiness. Most people use the word phrase, I just want to be happy. They pursue happiness with drugs, alcohol, sexual fantasies, exotic trips to Shangri-La. And when they arrive in Shangri-La, they unpack their bags, look in the mirror, and discover that the source of all of their trouble is looking right back at them. Suddenly, their happiness is gone. Why? Because the word happiness comes from the Scandinavian word hap, from which we get happenstance. That means to be controlled by circumstance or what happens to you, happenstance. You're happy because the sun is shining. You're happy because someone complimented you. You're happy because you lost five pounds. You're happy because you don't have to work today or Christmas is coming or it's your birthday. That means you're controlled by what happens to you. Your happiness depends on what happens, but God's joy is there no matter what happens. And that's the difference. That's the secret of Christian joy. It's not based on circumstances. It's based in believing God is who he says he is and that he will do what he says he will do. Look at David, a young shepherd boy who was invited to the palace to play beautiful music for King Saul. King Saul was plagued by an evil spirit that tormented him. And the only thing that could calm King Saul was David's harp playing. However, as David grew in prominence, slaying first Goliath and then conquering the enemies of Israel, Saul's jealousy got the best of him. While David was playing his harp on one occasion, King Saul threw his javelin at David, trying to kill him. But David just kept playing the harp. The point is, most musicians would have run for their life in terror, but the circumstances didn't matter to David because his joy in the Lord kept the music coming. Listen to that thought. Your circumstances today may not be happy, but God's joy will bring you happiness. Just keep the music coming. Listen again to the words of David. Rejoice in the Lord always. Look at the word always. Rejoice in the good times. Rejoice in the bad times. Rejoice when you're on the mountaintop. Rejoice when you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death. St. Paul says it this way, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. That's Philippians 4, 4. Make this day a wonderful day by receiving God's joy, even in the worst of times. Yesterday is gone forever. Forget it. Tomorrow is not here. Today is the only time you have that you can control. Therefore, rejoice in the Lord and make this day a great day. That's God's word for today. I'll see you Sunday morning on television at 8.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook or YouTube at Hagee Ministries. Blessings to you and to those you love.